Hi. What's, go what's going on, everybody? My name is Dylon57, and today I'm coming at you with another epic video. Um, I was actually going to make a series called It's Not That Hard, talking about raids and how they're not actually that hard, but I had the most unique experience uh, I've had to date where not only did everything go completely and utterly wrong, but we somehow killed it. So, that's what we're doing today. We're, we're going to be looking at this. We're going to be looking at this. Okay? Um, I formed a group. Right now, this is, this is like 5 a.m., uh, in, in the morning, on a Monday, um, and I sat everybody down, I said, okay, this is how the mechanics work, you stand behind the boss, Five, all the time, four, you put three, the swirlies on the edge, two, one. grab balls, this fight's not very difficult, but let's watch play by play, right now, I'm trying to get the boss closer to the edge. I'm currently tanking as a druid. Alright. I, I get I get my soak. Alright, and I take it out like I'm supposed to. Now, if you see there, there's tons of people standing right next to the boss. Not behind the boss. Right ne right next to the boss. Okay, you get a you get a pool kinda in the middle there. Target you. Alright. It's not the worst Special thing ever. Coming. Okay. Fine. Boss. You know, this goes kind of okay. There's some people, you know, kind of in the right spot. But, oh, oh, look at that. They don't run behind the boss. They they run in front of the boss. So, the pools, they drop right there. In front of the boss. And there's, and there's that huge gap right over there. Okay. We go... We go into the ball phase, you know, we're grabbing balls, as you do. Um, you know, that's fine. Ball phase is actually not so bad. But then it gets worse. So much worse. And I don't understand, um, how everything can go so poorly so quickly. So... Be me, trying to bring the boss as close over to the edge as I possibly can, but the other tank has ripped aggro from me, and is now pulling it further away from the previous things, because my intention was to move it over the edge, then stand in front of the boss, as you do. However, I was not given that opportunity, so I messed up the soak. The soak was not in a good spot for the raid. My bad. And you can see there were people standing in the middle. They were standing right there. There were people standing in the middle in the middle of this platform. When I, when I said, stand behind the boss. He's only going to drop a pool, a swirly, where you're standing. Oh, look at that. More people in front of the boss. More people in front of boss. Me. Be me. Running through pool. Running through pool. And we go on to the next ball phase. Alright, a couple people have already died. Um, as you can see right there. A couple people have already died. Uh, due to shenanigans. Alright. Um, fortunately though, we have some pretty decent DPS over here as you can see um yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna come out of here and we're gonna try to position the boss back in a good spot okay and you're gonna see that everything still goes poorly uh you see there are people who have their swirlies in uh the middle right here actually yeah you saw you saw them right there they were in the middle of the arena with their swirly pools 
Okay. Well, right after the swirly pools drop, that, that, that's when the geysers start coming up. Yeah, there's one right in the middle of the arena there. What, what, what do you know? Right, right in the middle, right there. Target you. So I'm trying to pull it over, boss that is, in such position that people can get behind the boss, like they're like they're supposed to, and also not die to the misplaced pools. And people are letting their their healing absorbs be be healed off in the worst place imaginable. Now at at this time. Our arena looks like like a pepperoni pizza. Just just pepperonis. Our pepperonis are roasting at this time. Uh, we have more people dead. I don't know if you saw that. My fat ass was in the way. We have some more people dead, which is great. Uh, but then uh, but then you can see here, uh, we we kill it. We kill this boss. I don't. This brings a few things up to me in my mind. Okay. Um. First off, I kind of flamed a little bit. I'll admit that. I kind of flamed just a little bit. I was a little upset because it's five. In the fucking morning. Okay. So I go and I just die. I just go die. Because I'm so done with this. At this point. Okay. Anyway. This brings a couple of things uh, up in my mind. <clears throat> First off. This is heroic. This is a heroic raid. It's not even it's not even that hard. It's just actually not hard. Like I was gonna make a whole a whole series like Amir to Sil bosses. It's not that hard. Or whatever. But I guess it is. I guess it is. Smolderon has been the filter all week. As the posting as of the posting of this video, this reset is when Amir Dasil is awakened. It has been the filter with which the gooders and the shitters are divided. And I have killed this boss four times now. And every time it's like this. Is it hard to understand basic instructions? Is it one of those heat in the moment things? Like, oh, it's different when you're there. Or something? I don't know. Because whenever I've done the fight, I take my swirly pool, bring it to the edge of the arena. You know what that does? That makes it to where one to two tornadoes are a non-issue. One to two tornadoes. Are just not even a problem for anyone, even. Everyone else, they go and soak with the boss. They go soak with the boss. They get a healing absorb. They drop it in front of the boss. And they move behind the boss. Bait out the pools, do it again. Except, trade. Who's doing it? It's very simple. It's so simple. Sometimes it do be like herding cats, I tell you what. Anyway. I might still make the It's Not That Hard videos. However, <clears throat> I felt it prudent at... 5.30 in the morning to make this video to express my disdain for the filter that is Smolderon Awakened Rook. If you made it this far into the video, 
I made a Patreon. You can support me and my channel for $1 a month over there, or more, or not at all. That's up to you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.